But first tonight, law enforcement body camera footage. It can help in investigations, hold officers accountable, and capture some pretty important interactions. And now, interacting with body cams is bringing some new AI technology to the table. A Ford Hatchet is in Queen Creek today, where the police department hopes AI can help hold officers accountable and celebrate their success, but some have concerns. Body camera footage can be an incredible tool for police departments, but looking through all of that footage can be painstaking and in some cases impossible. We're creating almost probably 5,000 videos a month, um, somewhere like almost a half a terabyte of data. It's way too much data. You know, the average officer is creating like 300 hours a year. And so a sergeant who might have 10 officers that they're responsible for, they can't watch 3,000 hours. You know, that's like 1,500 movies. Anthony Tassoni is the co-founder and CEO of Trulio, an AI software program that sorts through hours of body camera footage and flags potential problem spots for further review. Any uses of force go in the use of force folder. Any pursuits, non-compliance, frisking, um, any high-risk situations go into those folders. Queen Creek was the first department in Arizona to implement the technology, with others now following suit. The program flags specific words or phrases that could be problematic and sends them to supervisors. Instead of having my supervisors sitting in an office reviewing videos, I have them out on the road working with my staff. It's been a tremendous time saver and a huge money saver for us. The program costs Queen Creek about $25,000 a year. It's not even a portion of what it would cost me to put one person to watch a, a video and there's no way that I could have one person watch the thousands of hours of video and so it, it's pennies uh, compared to that. The ACLU has been on the record in the past saying they have concerns about privacy, adding the technology could be used to surveil civilians. Bryce says the system will provide a more comprehensive review of the department's work, both good and bad. This is not a gotcha situation. We're not looking for the minute issues. We're looking for those high risk, high liability situations and how we can best manage those. And the program launched back in the fall of 2023 and the police department is still in the process of rolling it out for all of their officers. In Queen Creek, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.